tell me about this, what you were talking about with the hand over the stove, and how does, it, how does this relate? Well, it struck me that when you have a basic human need not met, like air, food, water, that there's a lot of anxiety, and that anxiety causes you to engage in behavior that helps solve the problem. So if you're de deprived of food for a couple days, your anxiety course goes up, and your nervous system is designed to go seek food. So when you can't find the solution to your food, you start becoming more and more frustrated, and you start increasing your efforts to find that food. So what would happen to your anxiety if, I, if you held your hand over the hot burner of a stove? Yeah, I'd go up a lot. Okay, and what would you do? I'd try and pull my hand away. Okay. What would happen if I forced you to hold your hand over that burner? Uh, my anxiety would skyrocket. Right. And what would be the next reaction? I'd get pretty angry, frustrated, and uh, anxious. Right. So what happens in chronic pain, you essentially cannot get your hand away from the burner on the stove. So your anxiety goes to the ceiling, your frustration goes up, and of course frustration affects the quality of pain, and so you have a cycle going that's pretty deadly. And so it struck me many years ago that people in chronic pain seem to be very, very frustrated. And again, we have a basic human need not being met. You become very frustrated and anxious. Not being in pain is a basic human need.